Let's uh, do this. So I brought to boil here a cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and six tablespoons of butter. And so we need to take this off of the heat. Come over here. And we're gonna add, the recipe calls for a cup of flour, um, but I'm using an ancient grain, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Um, but you wanna add it all at once. And stir that in. And then you want to put it back on the heat and stir and cook until it all starts to make a ball and come away from the sides of the pan, which it's doing now. I like to cook it a little bit more to like get that flour cooked, but you don't want to go too far and, and burn it. And it whips up better if I cook it a little bit. But you see how it's making its own little ball here and coming away from the sides of the pan. Okay, now I'm going to take it and put it in my stand mixer. If I can get it all in there without making a mess. And I want to mix it for a little bit so it can cool some because otherwise the, the eggs will cook and it's not going to work out right. I've got myself um, a piping bag here because these need to be piped and this is the tip. Once I I'm just got a spatula I'm going to scrape the sides a little bit as I'm adding the eggs. But you want to add the eggs one at a time and then um, keep mixing. So this has had a chance to cool somewhat. So I'm going to start adding the eggs one at a time and mixing it thoroughly as we go. You can see it kind of wants to separate. So once it starts to um, collect itself, then we'll add another egg. Okay, it's starting to collect, so I'm going to go ahead and add another egg. Okay, it's collecting itself, so I'm going to stop and scrape some so that we don't end up with chunky spots. And then get some of this egg down here. Now it's kind of dark over here. Do you want to turn on that? down again after it starts to collect.
sure I've got the bottom cleaned up. My hands are clean. Even if they weren't. You know, it's uh, going to be baked at a high temperature. So, but yeah, of course my hands are clean. Now we want to just mix it a bit. You want it to look a little bit glossy. Now I'll tell you kind of that it's mixed enough. And I'm learning more about the ancient grains. And this is einkorn that I'm using. And you don't want to, <coughs> excuse me, you don't want to develop the gluten in it as much. So I'm probably not going to mix it as much as I normally would. But as you can see, it does have a little bit, maybe you can't see, it does have a little bit of a gloss. Um... Yeah, now it's ready to be piped. Oh, you can see it over here inside the gloss to it. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's definitely sticky and a little bit battery. I'll be right back. I'm gonna wash this out with my hands. filling a pastry bag you always want to fold the top and then you can like use your inside of your hand to scrape the dough into the bag it's so it keeps the outside of it clean so you're not getting it all over your hands so see I'm using my finger to um, scrape that in there you never want to fill your pastry bag too full because for one it could come out the top there's not that much batter here, but, and for another, it could be too much for your hands and you'll end up, you know, with carpal tunnel or something in long term. Um, I've been fortunate in all the years I've been doing this not to have carpal tunnel. And now I probably just jinxed myself, but okay, I'm gonna let that go. And then um, you always wanna Hold it from the very end and twist it, and that'll also help prevent it from shooting out the end. And then you want to burp the bag to get rid of any air pockets. And what I'm going to do here is make some cream puffs. And so I'm just going to pipe them. And the trick here is to hold the bag steady until you have it the size you want and then I kind of do a little circle to prevent it from having a big spike these are some of these will be filled with cream and topped with ganache and some will have chicken salad. So these can be savory or sweet. Which I love either application. See there's a air pocket. <laughs> And when I put these in the oven, I'm getting out of sync here, but whatever. When I put these in the oven, I'm going to put them at 425 to begin with to help them puff up. And then do that for 10 minutes. And then um, finish them off at 325 for the rest of the time. And you'll probably want to look at your recipe for baking times, but it varies. And you don't want them to be too sticky on the inside. Um, you know, they wouldn't be quite done. But um, yeah, it's easy just to grab one. If you have um, 
tails or something that you want to take care of, you can wet your fingers and kind of dab them. But I, I'm not too concerned about these. Cream puffs are kind of ugly anyway. So that's it. Um, I will send you a picture of the finished product. And um, that's all there is to it. So enjoy.